I'm Governor Kate Brown. With your support, Oregon will have another stunning new connection to the outdoors with the development of the Salmonberry Trail. It's my hope that the Salmonberry will connect more generations to Oregon's outdoors, support biking, hiking, and family recreation, as well as provide a new source of economic activity, particularly for our rural communities along the trail. This is an Oregon project worth doing. Let's build this trail together. I love the opportunity to be able to connect um, all Oregonians to have more health opportunities, more wellness opportunities, more way to connect with the outdoors. I think that the local economic impacts to these communities to be able to have a trail running through their, their centers would be amazing for everyone um, and visitors from all around the world. For 25 years, I sort of leapt at every opportunity to expose more people to the wonder and the magic and the majesty that is Salmonbury. And so when the idea of this trail first came along, I knew it was just a natural for Cycle Oregon to embrace and a natural for us to try and engage as many people as possible uh, in giving them access to this really remarkable piece of Oregon and of Oregon history. What better way to get everybody to the same table than to have an exciting project of this magnitude? And we're talking about partnerships that were very unlikely to occur otherwise. Partnerships between different kinds of businesses, different government agencies, different communities, urban communities, rural communities. I've not experienced a project that is able to bring so many different partners together all at the same table to do the same thing. The public is widely charged by the idea that we can do something good here, something better than we've done in a long time, and something that includes a whole county. Oregon has a history of these kinds of projects. I mean, Timberline Lodge would be a, a WPA project that was on the scope and scale of this size and the kind of impact. This is where the Salmonberry Trail hopefully will be someday as we work on it. And it really doesn't matter whether you like to hike whether you like to bike, whether you like to ride horses like we do, or like some of us, we kind of do it all, actually. But we have one, and we have one thing in common. We really like loops. We don't like what we call an out and back. An out and back was you go out, yeah, you hit so far, you say, oh, I got to turn around, you got to come back on the same trail. With a backbone trail like the Salmonberry in place, it's going to open up the possibility for all kinds of loop trails off of the backbone. Let's, let's talk about our economy and banks. It's really agriculture and timber. And with the advent of the trails, uh, we now have kind of a third leg economically to stand on. The community is solidly behind the trail. They've always been looking for some connections here um, that haven't existed for a long time to get out and move through the community in a safe manner. Uh, you won't get that by just driving through on 101. All kids need access to the outdoors. And what's the saying, the nature deficit disorder? There's so much of Oregon that's along this trail that having um, the, the opportunity to get out and explore and uh, adventure in ways that um, is, is hard to do sometimes in, in, in today's world. It, it terminates at the skate park, which means the skaters will also be one of the first users of the Salmonberry Trail. Now, this is a long-term project that has many rewards along the way. You put it in increments that you can manage, and when you get to, to the end of that one, you know, you celebrate and you move forward with the next piece. How often are you gonna have an opportunity to ride to the coast through tunnels and over trestles? That's, that's a world-class opportunity that's gonna come around once in a lifetime. Representing a rural part of Oregon as I do, I am acutely aware of the urban-rural divide. This is a magnificent alignment. The scenery in the trail is breathtaking. The opportunities for shared kind of recreation, whether it's hikers, bikers, walkers, horses, I believe we can accommodate all kinds of recreational opportunities. And in doing so, not only do we share the vistas of our beloved state, but we share the economic opportunity. So part of the reason that I'm passionate about Salmonberry Trail and what it has to offer, not just Wheeler as a community, but our whole Tillamook County coastline, is that it will open a gateway where, where 
not only tourists and families and kids can come in and get outside and get on a trail and take a bike ride into some of the most beautiful country, that will also allow people in our community to have access to treasures like Bots Marsh that they really love.